Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, after two days of being canceled, today is day one of the Bassmaster Elite 2020 season opener here on Palatka, the St. John's. I'm gonna do some interviews, I'm gonna talk to some friends, and I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. So, stick with us. Remember to like, subscribe, and be part of the Fishing Florida Radio family. At the end of this, you'll see how to get some free prize packs and some free tackle. So stick with us and watch the whole thing. Card, not the day you wanted. Why? Yeah, yeah it's tough today. Uh, just you know, right after a cold front, there's not much vegetation out there right now, um, and I didn't get a big bite. You know, the, the whole thing about Florida fishing is getting a big bite. Last year I caught a nine-five here on day one. Yep. Uh, today I had like seven pounds something. So my five fish it didn't even add up to what that one fish was last year. So uh, hopefully we'll go out tomorrow and get a few big bites. And uh, you know, with this warming weather, I think it's going to—I think it's going to get better in the next couple of days. Do you, when when you have a tough day like this, do you slow down or do you downsize baits? I mean, I know me personally, when it gets cold, I downsize. Do you go that route too? Well, yeah, I actually caught—I uh, think I caught four of my fish today on a drop shot. So <laughs> I mean, figure that one out. When the when the going gets tough, you you, you had to pull out the spinner rod, the light line. Um, so I might have to do that tomorrow, but hopefully I can get a couple of big bites, just power fishing, you know, mixing a little finesse, a little power, and um, hopefully the big ones will show up tomorrow. It, is it because of, do you think that just because the water levels are so weird, is that why the, the vegetation well, left, or do you know any clue? Yeah, yeah, I think just like the hurricane wiped out a lot of it like two years ago, then they've had a lot of high water here. And so basically high water kills off that grass. Yeah. Um, and, and probably the manatee is gorging. I, I'm gonna blame it on the manatee. They're eating all the grass. Is the key to find grass? Yeah, I mean here usually, uh, that's that's the deal here, but uh, not this year. Not this year. Nope. Well, you still got tomorrow. Tomorrow, and then the top 20 fish on day three, so. And your beautiful wife's here still. Yep. Yep, she always she joins us. She's supporting me. Which is nice. Well, yep. good luck tomorrow. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Bill Owen, my boy, how are you first? I'm good, man. It's good. It feels good to uh, be started again. Nice to meet your family, by the way, for the first right, time. Right. Hello, that, family. That's the loud, loud part of the loans. <laughs> yeah. uh, different year, different fishery. How, how much has it changed this year from last year? You know, I'm not necessarily sure that it's changed. Um, the weather's just been so goofy. You know what I mean? We've had big winds and cold, and just it's been a weird winter. Um, and it's not your traditional winter in Florida, especially now. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just changed everything, made everything a lot different. Um, you know, sometimes when you show up, it's it's right. And sometimes you show up, it's wrong. And right now, it's wrong. So, d how how do you change things up? When, uh, do you do you slow down? What do you do when you have a cold front like this come in? and it changes the fishery you know, so typically much. Typically in Florida, when you get a big cold front coming, that's the deal, you have to slow down. Um, that's just the way it is in Florida. Um, Florida fish don't like cold fronts at all. No. Typically a Florida fish doesn't like any type of change. Doesn't matter what it is. Um, they're like, to me, the most anal of all species of fish. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like the wind can blow out of the south one day and the next day blow out of the west and they'll be like, oh, I'm not gonna bite today, I don't like a west wind. Yeah. So, to me, they're the most temperamental fish that there is, um, and they just don't like change. But the big thing I can say is when the change happens, slow down. I mean, typically your fish don't leave that area. 
You just have to slow down and figure out how to catch them. Weird. Do you, do you downsize your baits too, or do you stick with bigger baits? You know, typically it's, you don't have to downsize. Typically it's more of a slow down, dead sticking type deal. I mean, yeah. typically where you may drag your bait through there, you may want to hop it and leave it there for 10, 15 seconds at a time, which sometimes that's really hard to do. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, that's what you have to do in Florida. Um, and if you don't, you don't catch them. Are these fish spawned out yet, or are they I'd about say to? We've, we've had a wave that have spawned. We have a wave that's trying to come up, but the mother nature keeps pushing them back. Um, and I think that's why it's so tough. You know, because once them fish try to come and get pushed back, and try to come and get pushed back, it just messes them up. Yeah. You know, it makes them, puts them in a funk. And I think that's what they're in right now. Are you fishing shallow or, and finding, seeing them, or are you fishing deep? No, I'm, I'm fishing. I'm not, I mean, I'm not fishing deep, but a couple foot deep. Yeah. But I'm not looking at them by no means. Yeah, it's, it's real dirty water. It is. It's it is. It's real black, dirt, dirty, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, Yamaha the best. Absolutely. We won't say anything about Brad, but... Thank you for it's doing right. the do, thank you for doing the cleanup yesterday. You know, it's always cool to do something like that and just give back. Uh, you know, but from what I seen yesterday, it's it's almost heartbreaking. You know, what I mean, to see the amount of trash that um, is out there. So if I can give anybody any, any advice, or maybe if you love the outdoors like we do, take an afternoon. You know, get the family, go out there and do some cleanup. It, it, you know, what I mean, it's. Uh, it's good for the environment, it's good for the soul. Yeah, thank you, dude. Hey, good luck this weekend. Thank you. The legend, Rick Clun, how are you, sir? Well, still deep in thought about what I'm gonna have to do to find fish. I really, I've been fishing now four days and really haven't found anything. I, you know, of course, for me, the key when I won it the last couple of years was uh, the grass, and I just can't find it. Uh, Is it the water levels that have changed the grass? Is that what's happened? Yeah, everybody's got a theory. I don't know. I know that what hit it impacted it most originally was that 2017 hurricane. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, and I think once you once it gets where there's not a lot of it, then everything impacts it. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it, it's got to. It's going to have to find a year or two where it comes back for some reason real strong and gets a gets a foothold and slowly comes back. But, uh, when you when you can't find grass, do you try to find structure or something to change uh, it up? No, not when they're moving up the head. Uh, you really want to be around grass or shallow reeds. Yeah. But there's not even any of that. So, uh, you know, boat docks, they really they try to get away from the boat docks when they're bedding. Uh, they, they might be close to them, but they won't be right on them. Uh, so it's, and that's, that's the only other thing you have here where I've caught them in the past. There is no grass, but these boat dogs are all fishing. I can't get rid of them. Yeah. Do you slow down when it's like this? Do you change baits? Do you, or do you just stick to what you've if known? You're around the fish, you got to slow down in Florida. It's just, just you have to do that. But uh, right now, no, I don't really want to slow down until I, I, I feel like I'm around them. And that's hard to do. Uh, not back. Well, you still got tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And you're the king here. That's what I'm saying. You just you just keep telling yourself a loop here, and you know, it's just a matter of getting on them. To get on them, you, this place can be magical. Yeah, I remember last year you pulling out the bag. I watched you pull your that bag on the final day. Was you couldn't fit more fish in there? No, I really needed more than one bag. I'm yeah. When they get like that. It was awesome. Well, good luck tomorrow, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, dude. How are you, first and foremost? Really good, man. So it was fun to be back, first down the water, getting out there and mixing it up. Struggled a little bit early. Took me a little bit of a while. It's like it took me about four hours to kind of get in the rhythm and kind of get, I don't know if you call it that game face or get that flight or die, but when I hit the rhythm, it felt really good, you know. So it's a lot of big changes for me this year coming back. I'm running a Phoenix this year. I'm running, you know, I got all new rods, art rods, all new real company with Lou. So I got a lot of stuff that I'm, I'm adjusting to, you know. Yeah. Learn. So it's kind of a uh, kind of neat that I'm kind of going along learning my tackle and fishing at the same time. How how awesome was it to get back on stage in front of the crowd that's here in Palatka? I love it, man. That's uh, you know I think that's what I miss more than anything was the fans, the crowd. And when you do it for 20 years, it becomes such a big piece of it. You don't really realize how big a piece until you, until you don't have it. You know, so it's really good. And I can't wait to do it again tomorrow. This decision to come back must have been unbelievable for you, especially after what happened last year. 
it was the easiest decision yeah I've ever made it, it was a lot of, lot of uh, turmoil trying to get free but we did it I knew it was the right decision I knew it was where I wanted to be last year I made a decision that I didn't know if it was even the right one you know, I kind of felt I kind of felt like it was rushed and a lot of peer pressure and I just made the wrong decision I made this decision on my own and it's the damn right one. well we welcome you back yeah. we're happy to see you yes sir and uh, tomorrow I, well let me ask a question how was the fishing out here? I mean, it wasn't. It isn't on fire like you'd think, because we no, last year was big fish here. It's pretty tough, man. It, it, fishing's pretty stingy. You really got to slow down. I didn't, you know, I probably didn't have eight or nine bites all day, so I'm gonna go off what I learned today. Go settle down in those areas to try to catch a big one. Do you slow down? I just slow way down to catch them. Way down. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend my whole day tomorrow that slow to see if it works out. Was there a certain bait you used that you that was I, I the one? A, I picked a Zoom Z Crawl Junior. Okay. Small crawl and I would make long flips with it and just shake it not not hop it just kind of barely shake it across the bottom and just slow way down and just kind of slow cast slow cast slow retreat back but it seemed to work well again welcome back we're really happy to see you man appreciate it thank you dude a welcher correct that is it. how are you today I'm doing well uh, I heard from our friend that you're a gambler I I don't consider it that, but I definitely do gamble in most people's eyes, yes, for sure. Is this your first year on the series? This is my first year on the Elites, for sure, yes. What made you, you were fishing? I, I was fishing the Bassmaster Opens and, yep. and the FOW Coastus and then qualified for, for the Elites and the FOW Pro Circuit, and the Elites are just the place to be, so that's where we are. Tell me a little bit about yourself. You're completely funding yourself through this whole, the whole year? Recently, I've had people step up. Okay. So it actually turned out to be a little better than I thought. But initially, when we signed up, paid the deposit, it was all me, and we were just ready to go. So I, I spent months and months and months in Florida, for probably like close to a year and a half, you know, whatever you call it, all put together in Florida, playing poker. First time I ever came here was last year to fish. Other than that, every time I've ever came down here has been to the beach or playing poker. So. To Daytona. The, I've been to Daytona, the, I've been to Orange Park, the new one, or the Orange City. That's where my dad one. lives. Really? Yeah. The, in uh, North Orlando, like an hour. Yeah. No, I've been I've been every poker room in Florida. I've been to it. So I'm I'm only asking this for my dad, and because I love Texas Hold'em. What's more stressful, catching fish or playing poker? Catching fish for sure. Playing poker is 100% math based. Even if I lose, I can rationalize if I made the right decision or not. Yeah. I can't tell what a fish is going to do. These suckers <laughs> can swim 10 foot away and I don't catch them, so it's a lot more stressful. Joining the elites this year, big big move. Right. Uh big commitment monetarily wise sure. does it does that play any factor when you start going out there and fishing you know you know you need a check and that kind of stuff or do you play like you play poker you yeah. play the odds so I, I play the odds all the time like even when I'm fishing I try to like say if I go fish this row of docks what's the percent chance of me catching them yeah. even though it's not like that cut and dry in fishing I still try to give it that just to make it make sense in my brain but when I'm out there fishing, the money, everything, I'm just, all I'm trying to do is get another bite. That's period, end of the day. Where can I go right now to get a bite? That's all I think about for eight or nine hours. I don't worry about, I gotta catch them or everybody's gonna be there. How can I get another bite? That's also my mind. How was the day today? Today was stressful because <laughs> we could have had a day, good, good day. And then at 12 o'clock, we ended up, we had three pounds at 12 o'clock and we should have had 15. And then we ended up changing up finding a little bit of something and catching everything we had in the last like hour and a half of fishing so uh, today was st more stressful than normal because it was my first day and at 12 o'clock I had three how, how, did you miss the fish the, the yeah. 15 was it hooks what was it I I had one come up and just it didn't even jump it just kind of wallered under shaked the surface, its head yeah and he came off his four pounder then I broke my my line and and rod on another one that was a four pounder so I don't like talking about miss fish. I'm all yeah, positive all the time. That's but good. Since you asked, yeah, I had two two big ones that could have worked out. Do you go back to where you caught the? What did you end up with today? Uh, 11, 13. Okay, so you're still in it because really one big fish here is, could be eight or nine pounds. For sure. So the area that I ended up fishing, I kind of ran through it real fast. I only had an hour and a half, and it's like a six or seven mile stretch. But I'm looking for one kind of in particular deal. So I think I can go back and really pick it apart a little bit better tomorrow. I can't say for sure I'm going to get bites, but I, I'm hopeful that I'll get bites. Yeah, Do you, you're, so you're not going to change too much up. What was the bait and what were the bait you were using? I can't say the bait. But, okay, sorry, but, that's all right. Uh, I am I'm, I'm going to change a lot up as far as this morning. I fished a lot of low percentage water, a lot of not productive water. And then later in the day, I, I decided to 
go fish where the fish should be sitting at no matter what i thought it was gonna be smaller fish though so i started started running that and getting bites you know a lot more consistently but in, in the morning i wasted a lot of time fishing bad water so we're gonna call that whole section of the day out tomorrow you fishing shallow looking for bedding fish want, or are you I looking did, for deep i did until 12 o'clock today okay. i looked for bed fish i was throwing, i was fishing docks and all that kind of stuff and it, it just wasn't playing but i mean one bed fish changes your whole week here so yeah you, you can't completely eliminate it but you can kind of buffer how bad it hurts you by not wasting so much time doing it so if you had to put it in poker terms for us people that love poker what 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 hand were you dealt today at the oh. beginning and then so you, you started off with what and what did you finish out after the flop after the the river okay so at, that's I'm, probably the only no, time you'll ever be asked this I'm question by the, the exact way breakdown. whenever i blast it off i had pocket queens okay? oh nice so i had the bites to have pocket queens so that's what I flopped a set. Okay. Flopped a set. Of Holy crap. Because I'm getting a bite. But my opponent turned a flush. Oh. And then at 12.30 today, I rivered her full house. Nice. So that's, that's how it goes. <laughs> uh, Kyle Welcher, thank you very much. Good luck and congratulations and good luck this weekend. Thank you. YouTube, Kyle Welcher. Oh, what is it? Tell me. Uh, my YouTube channel is Kyle Welcher. Oh, hold on. I'm in your thing. Okay, gotcha. Go again. So on YouTube, my name is Kyle Welcher. Everything from today will be on there and my practice. So check it out. Awesome. How are you? What's you get? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Are you filming or are you taking photos? I'm filming. Okay. <laughs> I'm filming right now. Okay. I figured so. Welcome back. Thanks. Good to see you. Is it the weather? What is it? No grass? What is it that uh, makes it hard? All of it. All of it. Weather. No grass. Um, the wind was a big one. It sucked a lot of water out this morning, or the last couple of days. So we had a huge south wind, so it pushed the current down the river. Yeah. And then there was like 50, 60 mile an hour winds going west offshore, so it pulled all that water out. It took a long time for it to come back this afternoon. But, I mean, it, it came up, and then I was able to catch a few this afternoon. But it's it's just, it's right on that brink. We've had so much up and down, the fish haven't made that big push. And I don't know how to catch them until they get up and where you can catch them. Um, so, we're just, we're days away. Like next week, this place will probably be on fire. Yeah. How did it feel to get back on the stage and bring five fish up and see? It felt good. This is a big crowd. It felt good. Yeah, it felt good. Like, it's just special. It just feels right. That's all I can say. It, feels right. it was, wasn't it such a hard decision to make the, to come back? Or was it just, yes. you and I have talked about I mean, this. Was, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was not easy. Yeah. It's not easy either way. But did you feel pressure to go to MLF last year? Yeah. I won't put that in actually. Yeah, you can. I mean, no, that's no, all right. I mean, yeah, I did. I, I kind of felt like you did. Yeah. Yeah, I had everyone else's opinions in mind and kind of lost sight of my own. Yeah. Well, you start off here, good start. Well, not a great start, but it's still. Good damage control. That's what I like to call it. Yeah. It's good damage control. But you it, get... it was real bad all day <laughs> until the last <laughs> hour. Yeah, well, I mean, that that's Florida fishing. We get a cold front and everything stops. Yeah. Are, what were you throwing, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, Are we allowed to talk him. about it? I caught him on a jerk bait. Um, caught him on. I caught most of my fish on an X zone um, muscle back fat finesse worm. Uh, either on a Texas rig or on a drop shot. That's how I caught most of my fish. Yeah. That's any specific June bug or black and blue. Um, I was throwing straight black and then a color they call Southern Sip, which is like a kind of a purplish, tan, green pumpkin looking color. Do you change anything up for tomorrow or do you go back to stick to what you know? I'm going to change a few things up, change some area stuff. I spent probably four hours um, in a bad area. Okay. I ran 35 miles to try to go fish one area and it just it wasn't happening. I thought if I caught them, I'd catch big ones. Yeah. But I, just, I had one by a two pounder, it came off, and that was it. So I'll, I'm gonna skip that. That'll save me a lot of run time, yeah. plus fishing time, where I can put myself in a good area. Well, good luck tomorrow. I'll be out here. You're our See boy. You. Thank you. See you. Jay Ellis, how are you, sir? I'm great. Yeah, we're. 
down here in the Florida sunshine. It was cold start this morning, and, and uh, to me, the deal today was the lake or the river here was about a foot lower than it was in practice due to, I think, the hard wind the last couple days might have blown some water out to the ocean, and then we had a super low tide today with the full moon. So where I was fishing, the water was a good 12 inches lower than it was in practice, and I struggled for a while trying to get catch fish where I caught them in practice, but I was kicking up mud with the trolling motor, and I noticed the water was way down, so I, I made a move to a deeper bank area and, and started getting some fish, you know, when I found a little bit better water depth. And so I caught most of my fish after lunch today, and makes a guy confident for tomorrow, anyway, that he might have found an area that had some fish and go work on them tomorrow a little bit. Do you slow down when you have, when it's tough like this? Yeah, usually in Florida when it's when these cold fronts come through and it knocks the water temp down, yeah, you got to really slow down. And I, you know, fish a Senko and just other soft plastics and fish real slow. Now, are these fish spawned out? Are they? Are you, you seeing know, I, them go, go I, shallow? I think some of these fish have spawned, but it's, a lot of them haven't spawned yet. So it's kind of a mixed bag. And you're kind of, you know, there's nothing spawning right now with this, you know, it's 35 degrees this morning. Yeah. But there is a full moon. We got a couple warm days coming up, and it wouldn't surprise me if today would be the slowest day of the, of the tournament, and the weights will increase each day with this warming trend that's on its way. Yeah, because last year was unreal. Oh, it was unreal. <laughs> you got that right. Uh, but we, you know, we had... We had 80 degree weather every yes. day. Every day, we never had a cold front like this. So in Florida, cold fronts hurt the fishing way more than they do up north. Yeah. The fish are more used to it up there. And down in Florida, they don't like it when it gets cold. The water, when I started this morning, the water was about 56 degrees. That's cold in Florida. Yes. It warmed up to about 61 this afternoon, and the fish started biting a little bit better. Afternoon bites are odd here in Florida, to be honest. Good. So I if like you're, that. yeah. So if you're on a spot, you got a good spot. Yeah, good. I'll, yeah, hopefully they'll. I talked to some guys that caught all their fish in the morning today, but I, for me, it was all afternoon. And a Yamaha boy. That's right. Love my Yamaha. Brad is going to be happy. Yeah, that show is awesome, man. It's just such a pleasure to drive that Skeeter Yamaha up and down the river. Awesome. Well, good luck this weekend and thank you. Thank you. John Cruz, how are you today? Um, man, things went very well today. Um, very, very happy with the way everything went. I got real fortunate and got two uh, real quality bites, a little over five pounds, I think, each. I think one was 5'10", the other one was a few ounces less than that. But uh, just very fortunate to get those two. How different has it changed since last year? Because last year, that final day bag, you could barely fit those fish in that bag. Uh, right now, we got uh, the low water, the cold front that came the last few minutes, uh, last few days. Um, it dropped the water back down to around 60 this morning, uh, but this sun is really good, um, and we're gonna—I think we'll have sun again tomorrow. So that's gonna—that's gonna help the bike quite a bit. But you know, having having those cold nights and cooling that down, it, it pulls those fish back. Plus, the water dropped a little bit, so the fish kind of pull out into like a holding pattern until until things get back up to normal levels, and then in that sun warms the water back up. But I mean, there's, there's the St. John's, man. They still live there, and yeah. you still go out there and, and catch a few if you, you put it in front of one. What are you throwing, if you don't mind me asking? What uh, missile it's, bait? It's a missile bait. It's a new missile bait that we're coming out with at the Bassmaster Classic. Oh. So you have to wait and see it there. We can't get a preview. No, 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 no. Uh. no I, I, know I had it like, two different ways and, and caught fish on both of them. Nice. Yep, look yep. at you. Well, we look, we look forward to the Classic then. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Okay, good luck tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Missilebaits.com. Yes, you got it. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Paul Mueller, hello, how are you? I'm doing good. Hey, dude, how are you? Fun. Oh, nice, pen. It's a mercury one, too. It's even better oh, than that's, a regular shark. Yes, a that's, a, that's a souvenir. Great day today, dude. Yeah, I, I can't complain. I actually had more weight than I thought I did, but uh, I would have been happy with <laughs> less than I had. I mean, it, it was a tough practice. It's uh, The place is fishing tough right now. I just kind of got in an area and, and fished and, you know, was fortunate enough to get two, two good bites and lost a big bite. But uh, I'm, I'm happy with the way that the, the day turned out for sure. Did you slow down because of this weather? What made it, what were you doing different? than everybody yeah, else. I mean, I definitely had to be thorough. You know, I had, I had to fish thorough. Uh, the thing is, I was really committed to just one area where I felt like, you know, based off of practice, uh, you know, it was probably my best area, which I didn't think it was as good as, as, it, as it was, but, uh, 
you know, when you got, that's all you got. You just got to fish and, and fish thorough. And I feel a little bit better now about the area for sure. Because, you know, I don't think I caught everything, um, you know, that lives where I fished. And uh, I think you're going to have to just make adjustments to the conditions. I think uh, I, even as the day went on today, I felt like the fish, they, they changed. You know, it's tidal too, so the water level's changing. Yeah, 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 and the yeah. fish changed with the water level. Uh, was there a certain bait you were using that was working for you? Yeah, I mean, I caught the majority of my fish today on a swim jig, but I did catch a couple I was punching uh, oh, as well. But just fishing shallow cover, you know, just kind of picking things apart. And, uh, you know, just no, no secret on that, just dark colors, June bugs. Yeah. Uh, just standard Florida fishing, which I am not used to at all. I mean, it's I am so far from, this is so far from my style of fishing. I'm just, that's why I'm thankful for the way the, the day turned out. But uh, Is this, are you taking this little man fishing? yet oh yeah of course of course hey man how are you well thank you very much doing all right yeah paul mueller second place thank you thank you thank you buddy appreciate it